Okay, it's recording. Hey, everybody. Jasmine's back from her walk with the boys, so it should be a little more interesting now. Hopefully, we won't argue too much over this one. I, I won't show Chris as much. I'll, I'll look at the Buddha while he talks. There you go. <laughs> one of my golf buddies said, you know, Chris, your wife was bossing you around that whole time during the depression video. You know, your kids are going to lose respect for you. So, I'm, I just... We have a good relationship. We have a, we have a good... We have a willed woman. Yes, we have a good relationship, and I express my views. Yes, <laughs> which is why I just did the last one by myself, because we had a fight and she went out to walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hopefully it'll be better now. All right, let's get a picture of Hitler. Famous baby picture. And uh, just a little bit about him. I wanted to get a little background. Um, it is kind of related to what's going on now because I just um, read, and Jasmine, you mentioned it too. Uh, unfortunately, one of the byproducts of this quarantine with so many people being in their homes together is that um, at least 25%, some places even higher, domestic violence is uh, definitely increasing. Hitler, unfortunately, was in that type of family. His dad beat him badly. And uh, unfortunately for Hitler's, Hitler's little sister, uh, she was eight and Hitler was 15. Recently, we got some diaries from her about how Hitler used to beat her. So daddy hitting the boy, the boy hitting the, the daughter, just that terrible cycle. And he was a sadistic person. I've read about where some of his girlfriends, I think at least two of them killed themselves Sadistic means you actually get pleasure from giving people pain. So think of the leader of your country who gets pleasure with hurting people. That's not a good recipe. Uh, Stalin was the same way in the Soviet Union. Stalin used to flick cigarette ashes on his wife's arm when they had parties with people over. And nobody could say anything as he abused his wife because he was the leader of the Soviet Union. So... It's not that unusual for sadistic people to be megalomaniacs and just be addicted to getting power. And next thing you know, they're in charge. So that's Hitler. Uh, also, the economy was so bad and because of diseases, Hitler had six brothers and sisters and only he and, her, he and his uh, sister survived. Four of them died and he survive with his sister who he was beating up. Okay, so that's that. U.S. is neutral. Can you see this pretty well, Jess? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't need to come closer? Nope. Perfect. Okay. So U.S. says it's neutral, but we're not really neutral because we're lending and leasing and saying cash and carry. We're passing acts to be able to help the allies, just like we did in World War One. Remember, we talked about that. So we say we're neutral, but we're being increasingly drawn into the war, helping England, helping the French. Okay, let's go to number six, December 7, 1941, a day that will live in infamy. Here we go, Jazzy. Can you get real close so basically all you do is see the screen? Just have to maybe move it to me. This is, yeah, I will. This is what got the U.S. into World War I, guys. Japanese planes launch a surprise attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The bombing of the American Pacific Fleet catapulted the U.S. into World War II. The following day, President Roosevelt addressed Congress. December 7th. Sorry to pause, but look, he's standing up. Remember, he had polio. And he couldn't walk. It's hard for him to stand up. So he's lean and pretty good there. Remember, everybody respected him so much. They didn't take pictures of him getting out of his wheelchair to stand up. Most Americans never knew he was even in a wheelchair. Okay, here we go. Asking Congress to declare war on Japan. December 7, 1941. Here we go. The famous speech. A date which will live in infamy. 
the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. As Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, I have directed that all measures be taken for our defense. The loss of life from Pearl Harbor was... Okay. What's that? Oh, that's as far as you can go? I don't know. It says it might stop soon, so keep going okay. and then it might stop. All right, so let's keep on going. So what happened?